This read the end of Punch of the Walls Reality here with the guys with of Evercross Comic. If you guys want to introduce yourselves. Yes, my name is Kevin Johnson, artist uh, of the group. Uh, I'm Bobic Alva. I uh, wrote and uh, ex essentially created the story about eight years ago. And uh, Kevin's my co-creator right here with me. So writing, writer, artist. Awesome. Uh, so if you just want to tell our viewers uh, a little bit about your comic, um, what can they expect if they decide to read it? Uh, Evercross is essentially a um, supernatural western set in the post-Civil War America. Uh, we bond aspects of like the Book of Revelations with American history at the time with just the supernatural aspects of demons and monsters roaming around. So it's kind of like a cramming all of everything that happens. It's, we just really like the idea of a post-Civil War America but with magic. <laughs> so it, that makes everything better. That sounds fantastic. Um, what type of audience would you say would be attracted to this type of comic? Um, the it's it's essentially for guys age 18 to uh, I guess the prime demographic, so 18 to 32, I believe. That's what the prime demographic is. Um, it really isn't for children. It's got a got a terrible amount of violence and gore, which we love. I mean, obviously, if it's a it's a western, um, but it's 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 lowbrow at times i <laughs> and, and it's got a lot of just in your face action it's 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 my summer popcorn movie that i've always wanted to direct but i could never do it and kevin uh allowed me to be able to do it on a shoestring budget it's because of his fantastic artwork so yeah that's yeah, amazing um is it kind of a one shots with each issue or is it an ongoing series uh it's an ongoing series it's part one of a 12 issue mini series essentially they run right into the next. Uh, it's 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 a movie. If if you if you read all twelve of them, it's an uninterrupted story. They're just the chapters in the story. Um, you, they're not one shots at all, and it does have a defined beginning, middle, and end. So yeah. Awesome. Yeah, it's always good when a story has like a you know a conclusion instead of just kind of going on and on and on and just having like no focus. So and that's really good. Um, you just want to tell people where they can uh, find the comic at. Uh, you can find it anywhere in San Antonio. Uh, it's it's at all the comic book shops right now. Uh, the main uh, partnership that we have right now is with Bazinga Comics. Uh, they 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 kind of pretty much paid our way here. They're really good friends of ours. Mark is an awesome awesome dude. Just go and support Bazinga Comics in San Antonio. Yeah. So I'm curious. Uh, what's probably been your favorite thing to draw um, as far as this comic goes? As far as this comic goes, uh, the gore. <laughs> Yes, uh, <laughs> I haven't had a chance to draw boobies yet. You know, those are the two selling points, the, the boobs and the gore. So, you know, if you can combine that, you definitely have a hit on your hands. <laughs> a great amount of fun drawing Balbatos as a 30-foot tall demon of uh, justice. justice, as it were. Uh, Angels don't exist in the world. Uh, demons are the enforcers of the virtues. So this demon Balbatos goes around enforcing uh, uh, justice. So he seeks out those people who seek vengeance, which puts him on a collision course with our main character. <laughs> yeah, no, nobody good exists in our world. They're just different levels of bad and maybe not so bad. I like that. I like that a lot, actually. <laughs> Definitely appeals to me. One of my favorite dr drama-driven dr uh, parts of the story is, you know, everyone is not necessarily evil or corrupt, but they've got their own set of priorities and to heck with everyone else. That's great. Um, so when can people be expecting the, the next issue to come out? We're working on it currently right now. We just finished up the, the, uh, the, the draft of the second issue. Uh, Kevin and I are working on the blocking portions of it right now, and he's already working on the cover. So I would say give us about till February. You can start seeing that bad boy out there. At that time, we will have something in digitally distributed uh, comic books set up, and it will be in every store in San Antonio. I can promise you that. We're working on getting it Texas-wide, and if it's digitally distributed, it's going to be nationwide, worldwide, everywhere. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. well, there you go. That pretty much sums it up. <laughs> All right. Um, hey, do you guys have a Facebook or Twitter they want to plug? Yes, indeed. We do have a www.facebook.com forward slash the Evercross. No, t no Twitter just yet. We've uh, we've been shown the um, uh, the error of our ways in that one. There will be one very, very shortly, which we will link on that Facebook page so that you'll be able to find it. Yes. All right. Sounds fantastic. So be sure, be sure to check them out on Facebook and look forward to uh, issue one and issue two. Thank you guys for your time. Hey, man. It was a pleasure. Yeah. It was really fun. For Thank sure. You. Thank you very much. Bye, camera man. <laughs>